Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. Continuing the theme of this month, we have a new deck creator today. His name is Vorbis, and he's also doing Sonic the Hedgehog characters. This is Emeril, our hero for the day. He is from the comics, specifically Sonic Battle, which I don't actually know what that is, so I don't really know anything about him. But he's a robot who copies people's powers, and he has a very unique gameplay style. We'll get to that in a bit. He's going to be fighting the Fay Court, Dog the Morgan, alongside the Knight 1899, Target Johnny Rocket, Stealth Suit Bunker, and they'll be fighting in the Magic Box. Haven't seen this in a while, don't remember what it's like. Here's hoping it's not a bad idea. So, start of the game, the Dogda enters play Lord of Bounty side up, put the Morgan's villain character card into play, Queen of the Hearts side up, put four tokens in her patience pool, shuffle the villain deck and reveal cards from it until an advisor, and three courtiers are revealed, put them into play, shuffle the other revealed cards into the deck. Oh good, we get Lou. Starting with Lou basically means you win. If there are ever 10 or more tokens in the esteem pool, you have gained the favor of the Fate Court, and they send you on your way with Fate Blessing, the heroes win. When this card will be destroyed, move from the game instead. When the dog is dealt damage by a hero target, flip this card. End of the villain turn, reveal cards from the villain deck until a bond card is revealed, put it into play, and shuffle the other revealed cards into the deck. Then a hero target in the play area of that bond regains 2 HP. The Morrigan says when this card will be destroyed, move from the game instead. When the Morrigan is dealt damage by a hero target, remove a token from the patient's pool. Move the advisor with the lowest HP to the bottom of the villain deck. Search the villain deck and trash for the court's displeasure, put it into play, shuffle the deck, and flip this card. You really don't want to hurt her unless you're ready for the consequences. At the end of the villain turn, the player with the fewest cards in hand draws a card, then reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a target, put it into play, otherwise discard it. They're a very complex deck, but thankfully we were playing them yesterday, so we know how they go. Here we go. Play another Dryad Chancellor. That's good, and I'll tell you why in a minute. End of turn, we get a bond. First one is a chance at love. Play this card in an active hero play area. At the start of this hero's turn, one player plays an ongoing card. At the end of this hero's turn, if this is the play area with the most ongoings in play, destroy an ongoing card in each play area, then remove a token from a villain token pool, and put this card on the bottom of the villain deck. So the where you play them and what happens when they're destroyed are all the same. It's the start and end of turn effects that matter. So we don't want to give this to Johnny Rockets. I think we'll give it to the Knight because he doesn't have a lot of ongoing cards, I certainly do not tend to play them. He would heal too, but he's at full HP. Somebody can draw a card. I'll let that be Bunker. I'm gonna reveal the top card of the deck. It is a target, some Pixie Knights. Now stuff starts happening. Champion Lou, when a villain target is destroyed, add a token to a villain token pool. This is how we win the game. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals a hero target with the highest HP, three melee damage, then that hero target may deal a target one melee damage. So he is hitting the knight, who will hit the nymph stewards first. Salamander Arbiters. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals each hero target in players with bonds, three fire damage. If no damage is taken this way, remove a token from each villain token pool. Knight takes three. Nymph stewards say, player with no bonds in their player discards a card. If no card is discarded this way, remove a token from each villain token pool. Bunker can drop a card because he just drew one. The Dryad Chancellors reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a one shot, discard it and add a token to a villain token pool. Otherwise, put it into play. Not a one shot, so we get more pixie knights. And then the second one reveals Trickster Puck, another advisor. Great, this is just wonderful. I think we're going to smack the Morgan around a little bit. Pixie Knights, deal the hero target with the highest HP formula damage. If no hero target takes damage this way, remove a token from a villain token pool. So that'll hit Emerald. And the second one will hit Bunker. Puck says when a villain character card flips, add a token to a villain token pool. At the end of the villain turn, one player draws two cards and discards a card. Then if no villain character cards flip this turn, play the top card of the villain deck. So we'll have Emerald draw two and discard one. No villain character cards flip this turn, so he plays another Nymph Steward. Great. Emerald will discard a card for them. Okay, so we have our work cut out for us. We need to rock these guys' socks off. Start of the knight's turn, somebody can play an ongoing card. Emerald is going to play Cold Anger on Johnny Rocket. I will read what that does later because you're not going to understand it because I haven't gone through his rules card yet. Whoops. The knight does not have the most ongoings in place, so we're good. Heavy swing. Let's hit those nymphs again. Draw or play two cards is his power. I think he will draw two and draw a card. All right, Johnny Rocket, picking up speed, lets me play a momentum. Picking up speed, lets me play a momentum. Fast footwork, draw two cards. I can play a card, fast footwork, draw two cards. I can play a card. How about free for all? He can deal four targets, two melee damage each. I'll get rid of those salamanders if at all possible. Destroy a momentum. Then I can play a card. Sonic shattering on these nymph stewards. That gets us a token. Putting it in the Dogda's pool. Destroy a momentum. 
I can play a card. Interstate Charge. One, two, six, seven damage. We'll drop these Pixie Knights. That's another token. Destroy a Momentum. And then he gets a Momentum off the top of his deck and draw a card. That was a hell of an opening turn. Bunkers can external combustion. This will flip both of the villains, but the good news is that gets us a token. So I'll start the villain turn. Each player may discard up to two cards. If at least four cards are discarded this way, flip this card. End of the villain turn, the dog deals the hero target with the highest HP, X called damage, where X is the number of tokens in the esteem pool. Morgan just got hit, so we take a token out of her pool. We move Puck to the bottom of the villain deck, search for the court's displeasure, shuffle the deck, and flip her card. Queen of War. If there are ever no tokens in the patient's pool, you have angered the fake court. Whilst under their sway, you may never see the mortal realm again. Game over. When this card will be destroyed, move to the game instead. At the start of the villain turn, each hero target may deal itself two infernal damage. If at least four damage is taken this way, flip this card. End of the villain turn, the Morgan deals each hero target one melee and one infernal damage. And then he hits all of the other targets. Dropping these nymphs, so that's another token. If the Morgan loses any more, we may want to do something about that. Oh, and the Court's Displeasure says when a villain character is dealt damage by a hero target, remove two tokens from that villain's token pool. At the end of the villain turn, the villain target with the highest HP deals the two hero targets with the highest HP, two infernal damage each. So not great. Bunker's power is running silent. Either search your deck for an ongoing card, put it in your hand and shuffle your deck, or play a card. I will do the first and go grab an ammo drop, draw a card. All right, let's take a look at Emerald now that we have seen like 27 cards played. On his character card, it says memory cap six. Once per turn after Emerald uses a power, you may record. He also has a very long rules card. Setup says set your memory cap equal to the amount set on your hero card. Shuffle your deck and draw four cards. So this counter is the memory cap. This one is going to be the memory pool. Record. Whenever you're instructed to record, you may copy another player's card in play or trash onto a card with a record ability, adding Emerald to the end of its name and changing all mentions of that hero or player to Emerald or Emerald's player. The copied card must match the criteria listed by the record ability, then add the memory of that card to your current memory. All Emerald cards are limited. Copied one shots remain in play instead of going to the trash and have no effect unless activated by one of Emerald's other effects. Copied ongoing and equipment cards do not count as cards in play for destruction effects. If a card would be copied onto a record card or a record card is destroyed, clear it first. Cards with immune in their text cannot be copied. A card's memory is equal to one plus the number of sentences in the card's text. I also forgot that. Plus one if the card grants additional powers, plus two if the card grants additional plays. Memory cap. If your current memory ever goes above your memory cap, you must clear cards until it no longer does. And clear says remove a copied card from a record ability card in play from the game. Subtracting the memory it was using from your current memory, clear ignores indestructible. So I may actually physically copy paste cards into his play area. I may just move them over depending on what's going on. I may also then end up moving cards back that are copies, but we'll see. Also, the back of this card has a frequently asked questions. You can read that on your own time. So we're going to start off with Strange Teachers. If another hero destroys an ongoing or environment card while a card is copied to this one, its memory is reduced by one. The power is, at the start of your next turn, destroy an ongoing card. Record ability is an ongoing or one shot. We're going to go ahead and use the power on that. So if nobody else can get rid of the Quartz Displeasure, at least Emerald will. And because of his gameplay text, I can record an ongoing or one shot in somebody's play or trash. I will copy picking up speed. So the first thing we do is we set its memory. It's got three lines of text, so that is four memory out of my total six. When this card is play, I can play a momentum. I'm sorry, I didn't want to do picking up speed. I wanted to do fast footwork. So when this card is play, draw two cards and I can play a card. I think I will play true empathy. Whenever Emerald regains HP or draws cards, another hero may receive these instead. Power is you may activate a one-shot that would allow Emerald to draw cards or regain HP. If you don't, Emerald regains three HP. So that's it for that. If this ongoing is destroyed or an environment card is destroyed by another hero, my memory pool will decrease by one, which will be nice. Draw a card, except I'm going to let Johnny Rocket draw a card. Okay, the magic box. Demonic Compendium. Play this card in a hero play area. If this is the first book played from the environment deck this turn, play the top card in the environment deck. Aha. Heroes in this play area gain the following power. Select a non-character target. Increase damage dealt to that target by hero targets by one till the start of your next turn. I'm going to go ahead and get that to the knight. We'll play the top card of the environment deck. All night study session. Once card is played, each hero deals itself one psychic damage, and each player may use the power on a book in their play area. If no player does, 
Discard cards from the top of the environment deck until you discard a book, then put that book into play and destroy this card. So yeah, everybody take one. We will go ahead and use this book and increase damage dealt to these pixie knights by one. That'll help a little bit. Destroy that card. All right, start of turn. If we discard four cards, the Dagda will be appeased. When he is appeased and flips back over. The Morrigan wants us to hurt ourselves. I think we'll do that. Emerald and Johnny Rocket will supplicate and appease her as well. Note that this does not get rid of the court's displeasure. They're still mad at us. But they play Seasons Change. Shuffle the villain trash into its deck, then reveal cards in the deck until an advisor is revealed. Put into play, shuffle the other revealed cards into the deck. Flip the villain character card with the most tokens in its pool, then remove a token from each villain pool. Well, that's great. After all that trouble of flipping them back over. So, trash into deck. We get maybe Puck again? Yeah, it's Puck again. Darn it. Don't want him. The Dagda flips, which means I'm going to add a token to the Morrigan's pool, because then we remove a token from each pool. All right, end of turn. The Dagda hits the highest for three cold damage. That is the Knight. The Morgan lets Emerald or Bunker or Johnny Rocket draw a card. We'll let Emerald do that. Then reveal the top card of the deck. It is a target. More Nymph Stewards. They go into play. Okay, Lou is hitting someone for three. How about Emerald? And then he can deal these Pixie Knights two melee damage. The Salamanders hit the Knight for three. Reveal the top card of the deck. It's a one-shot. Is it? It's not a one-shot. It's a bond, so it goes into play. A modicum of knowledge. Start of this hero's turn, they draw two, three, or four cards. At the end of this hero's turn, if they have nine or more cards in hand, the hero deals himself nine psychic damage, then remove a token from a villain token pool, and put this card on the bottom of the villain deck. We're going to give that to Bunker, because I can work around it, I think. The second Dryads reveal the one-shot. They discard it. We'll put a token in the Dogda's pool. Pixie Knights. Hit the highest for four, that's Johnny Rocket. We will prevent that with Cold Anger, oh yeah, which says play this card next to another hero. The hero next to this card will be dealt damage. You may destroy this card to prevent that damage, then record. If you copy to one shot, you may activate it as if it just entered play. And actually, I can't record to this, and if he doesn't take the damage, we are going to lose a token, so never mind. Villain target the highest HP, that's the Morgan. Deals two hero targets with the highest HP, two infernal damage each. That is Bunker and Emerald. Puck lets somebody draw two cards and discard a card. That'll be Johnny Rocket. Then play top card of the villain deck. It's more Pixie Knights. Stewards make somebody discard. Emerald will do it. And the Pixie Knights hit the highest for four, and that's Johnny Rocket again. Woof. Okay, start a turn. Somebody play an ongoing card. Sure, let's play Uncontainable Destruction. X on this card is the number of copied cards in play, so right now it's one. You may use an additional power during your power phase. At the end of your turn, Emerald deals himself X plus one fixed lightning damage. If no damage is taken this way, destroy this card. That's a DE term, so remember that means it's irreducible, cannot be redirected, and cannot have its type changed. Power is Emerald deals a target X fixed energy damage. The knight does not have the most ongoings in play, and that plus one wears off. He is going to heavy swing and drop the salamanders for a token in the favor pool, or the whatever pool that is. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the book again on the other pixie knights. Draw a card. Well, that's the end that we check, right? Okay, we're fine. All right, fast footwork, draw two cards. Play a card. Fast footwork, draw two cards. Play a card. Fleeting mockery. Let's take a look at the villain deck. It's nymph stewards. We don't like them. Discard them. I can play a card. Fleeting mockery again. Willowis perils. We'll replace them, and you'll find out why later. I can play a card. Rapid retrieval. Player other than me may search their deck for an equipment card and put it into play, then shuffle their deck. I know Emerald's got something. Oh yeah, he's got all kinds of crap. Should I grab a Chaos Emerald? Yeah, I should actually. When this card is played, you may draw a card, then play a card. Increase Emerald's memory cap by two. So, draw a card. I can play a card. Let's play Produce Munitions. The card copied to this one has its memory increased by three. If the card copied to this one designates targets for an effect, you may choose two more. And you can record a one-shot ongoing or equipment with damage in its text. So, this will now allow me to use Cold Anger to do cool stuff. Johnny Rocket draws a card. All right, power gives him another momentum. Draw a card. No one is ever going to have the most ongoings in play. Start of turn, Bunker will draw two cards and play the Omni Cannon and use his power to play the Auxiliary Power Source and not... No, I, I will draw a card because we're going to have to discard. Okay, I have two cards in hand. Basically nothing else to do. Oh, that's right. At the start of his turn, we destroy an ongoing card. Goodbye, Quartz Displeasure. Whew. And nobody's dealt any damage to these pixies. What the heck? Well, I guess I'm going to play the one card that will do anything, save what matters. When another hero would be dealt damage, you may destroy this card to prevent that damage. If Emerald is below 12 HP, you may also destroy an ongoing or environment card. If you do, all heroes regain a hit point. That's not going to help us right now, though. I can use an extra power. Let's start with Uncontainable Destruction. Deal a target one, make that two, fix energy damage to these Pixie Knights. 
And I think we want to use his base power, which is first attack. Emerald deals a target, one melee damage, two to the Pixie Knights. I chose poorly. Draw a card, which, yes, he is definitely drawing a card. Oh, right, and I can record something. I want to wait and record outside my turn for this, so we'll just hold off on that for a minute. And then he deals himself two lightning damage. Oof. The magic box plays Dreadful Ritual. Spell. In the environment, turn the villain target with the highest HP. It's the Morgan. Deals each hero target one infernal damage. Start the environment turn, move a target from the villain trash into play and destroy this card. Okay, that could be a lot worse. Everybody take one. You know what? We're going to prevent the damage to Johnny Rocket with Cold Anger, mostly because preventing larger damages is not helpful. So let's copy a one-shot, and if it deals damage, well, it has to deal damage, I can use it now and also increase the number of targets it affects. I'm going to copy Sonic Shattering. So he deals one target, one Sonic damage, which means he can deal up to three targets, one Sonic damage. We'll hit those Pixie Knights, the other Pixie Knights, and the Nymph Stewards. And then he can destroy momentum. I will. That goes into Johnny Rocket's hand. So he deals, as I read it, each of those targets, two Sonic and two projectile damage. We drop these Pixie Knights for a token. We drop the other Pixie Knights for another token and four damage to the Nymph Stewards. That's pretty cool. All right, continue on. It was the end of the environment turn. Okay, start of turn, we need to discard some cards. Four, the Dagda is pleased. And that's it for start of turn. The Fae Court plays will o -Wisp Heralds. Oh yeah, we knew that. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals each hero target two sonic damage, then add a token to a villain token pool, and each player with a bond in their play area may draw a card. That'll be very nice, actually. The two sonic damage is super worth it. End of turn, we get a bond. It's a glimpse of the future. Start of this hero's turn, reveal the top two cards of their deck, discard one and put the other into play, then put the top card of the villain deck under this card. At the end of this hero's turn, if there are three or more cards under this card, put them all into play, then remove a token from a villain token pool and put this card on the bottom of the villain deck. We're going to go ahead and give that to Emerald because he's got other hero's cards in his play area. Why not villain cards too? Oh, and then he heals too, actually. That's pretty good. The Morgan lets Emerald draw a card, and then we reveal the top card of the villain deck. It's a one-shot. It is discarded. All right, Lou hits the highest for three. That's going to be Emerald. He will hit the Nymph Stewards for one. The Dryads reveal the top card of the deck. It is a bond. Play this card in active hero play area. Start of this hero's turn, they play a card, then each player draws a card. End of this hero's turn, if any other player has more cards in hand than this player, this player discards their hand, draws a card, removes a token from a villain token pool, and puts this card on the bottom of their deck. I'm going to give that to Johnny Rockets. A second Dryad reveals a one-shot, discard it. That's a token in the esteem pool. Puck lets somebody draw two and discard one. That'll be the Knights. And then play the top card of the villain deck. It's another Willow is Herald. Okay, that's a little, that's a little much. Nymph Stewards. Does anybody not have a bond? That's Bunker. That's fine, actually. He can totally discard a card. And then the Willow Wisps do their thing. So we're going to hit Emerald first. And then we're going to prevent the damage to Johnny Rocket using Save What Matters. Destroy this card. Emerald's below 12 HP. I will destroy Dreadful Ritual. Everybody heal one. And then everybody else takes two. But we get a token in a villain token pool. Everybody draws a card because everybody has a bond and we're about to win. Because this will was periled hits everybody for two. And we add a token to the esteem pool and that's ten. We win. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Let's take a look at the rest of Emerald's uncopied deck. Something to fight for. Permanently increase Emerald's memory cap by three. For the rest of the game, memory is calculated as zero plus the number of sentences in the card's text. Instead of one plus the number of sentences in the card's text, remove this card from the game. You know what? I actually never calculated the memory of that one shot. What did I copy? Sonic Shattering? One, two, three, four, five. That actually would have put me over eight, so I would have had to clear fast footwork, and that would have been fine. Issue Challenge. Choose a target. Until the start of your next turn, damage dealt by you is redirected to that target, and damage dealt by that target is redirected to Emerald. Draw a card, then use a power. Care for others. Activate a copied one shot that would not cause Emerald to deal a target damage, as if it just entered play. Use a power that would not cause Emerald to deal a target damage. Purge systems. Clear any number of cards. For each one you clear this way, Emerald regains 2 HP or deals a target 2 fixed energy damage. If you have one or fewer copied cards, record. Absent Gaze. If you control less than three copied cards, search your deck or trash for a card with record in its text. Accept Absent Gaze. Put it into play, then shuffle your deck. Otherwise, you may activate a copied one-shot as if it just entered play. Fabricate Armament. If the card copied to this one has a power that deals damage in its text, reduce its memory by two and you can record an equipment or relic. Living Weapon, Beating Heart. Permanently increase Emerald's memory cap by three. Draw three cards, move this card from the game. Uncanny Emulation. When you copy a card to this one, you may quadruple its memory. If you do, double all numerals on the card until you clear it, which is disgusting, and I love it. You may record an ongoing or equipment. 
borrowed gifts. When you record on this card, you may have the memory of the copied card. If you do, also reduce its numerals by one, and you can record a one-shot equipment or ongoing. Kinship of Weapons. Increase Emerald's memory cap by four. You may reduce damage dealt to heroes by heroes by one. Power is. Activate a copied one shot as if it just entered play, then clear it. Derived Willpower. If a card is copied onto this one while Emerald has less than 12 HP, it has no memory until it is cleared. Wow. And the record is a one shot ongoing or equipment with reduce or regain in its text. Trauma-based acquisition. If Emerald is dealt three or more damage in one instance, record. If you do, you must select this card as the card to copy onto. Power is activate the one-shot copy to this card as if it just entered play, and you can record a one-shot with damage in this text. Match speed. If a card copied to this one would draw cards, it draws an additional card. Power, draw two cards, record an ongoing or equipment. Accelerated Reflexes. The card copied to this one has its memory doubled. Once per round, you may activate the effect of a card copied to this one as if it just entered play, and you can record a one-shot with damage or reduce in its text. Reconstruction. Permanently increase Emerald's maximum HP and memory cap by 3. If Emerald has half or less of his maximum HP, he regains 5 HP. Remove this card from the game. And that's it. He's got a lot of cards. They're all very complicated to use, but it's a very interesting mechanic to have a hero doing, and obviously it would not really be doable in physical. I don't even know if it would be doable in digital, but it kind of works on Tabletop Simulator. You can copy-paste stuff, you can change their names, so you keep things in your memory without forgetting them. But that's all for this one. You can find Emerald on his own single-deck mod. You can find the Knight 1899 and Target Johnny Rocket on... You can find the magic box on All Scanners Assembly. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks to everyone who came to chat. Tabletop Simulator, the Reaver Sentinels Cauldron DLC, Emerald for Sentinels, Sentinels Community Custom Classics, and All Scanners Assembly. Not less great against products, please support the official release and flip.